on the studio secured. We can go now. I am grateful to the people of Sahrani for their support. Now when this self-appointed queen announces her resignation, I intend to assume the throne that is rightfully mine. My goal is to bring peace and stability, to create a liberal constitution, and to lead this great nation towards renewal and prosperity. Bravo. His Majesty is a talented public speaker. This is the most important talent for a king, the ability to inspire his people. I'd expect that the most important thing for a king would be to fulfill his promises to his people. But those are just details. Our prince knows very well that totalitarian regimes have economically disastrous results. He'll not allow any police state here. We were just listening to a speech by His Highness, the Crown Prince Orlando, and now a summary of the news. Supporters of the self-appointed Queen Isabella who barricaded themselves in the south wing of the royal palace, surrendered this afternoon after a minor skirmish. The queen is henceforth missing. Military experts agree that she is currently still in hiding somewhere in Sahrani, although her personal guards have dispersed and no longer constitute a threat. All over the country, spontaneous demonstrations are erupting in support for the crown prince. And so it is. A happy ending live from Sahrani. The prince will return to the palace with everyone behind him. And what about you guys? I hope that you will stay on as our guests. In Sarani, there is much better things to do than fight. Great beaches, great girls. We thank you for the invitation, sir. But unfortunately, we have our orders. His Majesty considers our work to be finished here. So we're taking our leave of the island. We fly out tomorrow at noon on a direct flight. In that case, I wish you a pleasant journey. It's too bad you'll not get to know Sarani's good side. You've helped us out immensely here. The prince knows how to be grateful, but of course you already know that. You know, I am really curious about what kind of seat I will have. If it'll be a window or an aisle seat or the one next to dear Isabella. Yeah, you're right. She's guaranteed to get away. I bet she's searching for a hat and a pair of big shades right now. Maybe even a Nice beer. observation, guys. But it'd be better if you kept it to yourselves. There are negotiations underway. The prince just went off to a nearby, undisclosed location where he is meeting with the queen. Both are without military entourage. This was her condition. In exchange for compensation and free passage, Isabella is willing to give up all claims to the throne and leave the island. But sir, is the prince seriously going to let her get away with all that she's done? Yes. He will accept the deal in order to prevent a massacre. They both know the queen is in a no-win situation, but if she were to face a judge, the fight would continue until the bitter end. For the crime of regicide, she could expect nothing less than having her head chopped off. So, are we actually finished here? Are we free to go, sir? It seems that way. Great! Wait! Prince, I have been informed. You understand, I have my sources. Yeah? Well, what have you been informed of? Some suspicious recruitment. That is to say, uh, my informant saw a military convoy pointed sort of in the direction of where the king had that meeting. Are you trying to suggest that this is a trap? That the prince is in danger? Actually, it isn't absolutely certain. The informant of mine, naturally, isn't a soldier. 
She couldn't just walk up to them and start asking, where are you going, right? I'm sure you understand. I spoke with the prince before he left for that summit. He explicitly told me that our coalition has ended. There is no desire for any further resistance. That very well could be true. The prince believes that everything is under control, but consequently I wanted to warn him by a radio, but I couldn't get through. Someone is jamming the signal. Doesn't it seem odd to you? After all, maybe you could check it out. But unofficially, what do you say? <laughs> Apparently unofficially. We know all about that. Yes, unofficially. It contradicts the orders that the prince gave you, and I'll admit that up front. Furthermore, I don't have the financial resources to ensure your services. Supposing you have at least something of a conscience, I believe that you'll simply not brush this off. You're right, Gonzales. I don't like this one bit. The prince has already underestimated his sister several times. Uh, may I say something, sir? Let's hear it, Tom. As long as the prince and the queen settled on meeting without an entourage, we could very well jeopardize the prince's plans if we unexpectedly show up there. Isabella might see that as him breaking his word. She'd start shooting, and if worse comes to worse, we'd be blamed for that. My thoughts exactly, Tom. The prince isn't an idiot, after all. He didn't take us with him because we would look out of place. But surely he has his own soldiers who can be disguised as locals. Certainly he has his own plan, and we'd ruin it by mixing in with his own troops. Maybe we have it all wrong. The prince convinced everyone, including Mr. Gonzalez, that he is really stepping into a trap. But in fact, he's luring out his sister so he can bump her off. And his hunch was right to leave us out of it. He knows that assassinations for hire are not exactly thrilling to us. Nasty scam. But I wouldn't mind that much if I got an opportunity to bump her off. That blonde deserves everything that's coming to her and more. Even if she vows a thousand times to go off to Timbuktu, a smart man wouldn't trust the witch. Especially if she'd attempted to take him out three times. You think that you wouldn't mind? Have you gone crazy? This is tough business. Without a contract, we have no guarantee of anything. If we let our guard down now, they can stitch together God knows what. And what a great scandal that would be. Our best option now is to close our eyes and let the prince have free reign. They have to get even with each other, and if possible, without us in the way. Now, if we try to find the prince tonight, I don't think that anyone will shower us with praises. Still, it's my decision and my duty. Gonzales, find out the details for us, and you guys prepare for the journey. We're going to save the prince. <laughs>